Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Bright light city, gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn, so get those stakes up higher. Oh, there's blackjack and poker and the roulette wheel. A fortune won and lost on every deal. All you need's a strong heart and a nerve of steel. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva! Viva Las Vegas! Okay, that's all I'm singing to that song. How is everybody today? Hey, besties. Happy Saturday, because it's holla for your dollar, ho, holla for your dollar. I interrupt this program to remind you to stick around till the end so you can find out who won. Who won today? Who won today? Who won today? I'm dropping things as I do this. So don't forget, like, this is... Giveaway! Where'd they go? Wait! Today, I am drawing the names for the lucky winner of this set and a lucky winner of a set of the beads. The trio of the beads. Wait, there's one more missing, right? I don't think I have one more missing. Nope, not that one. It's this one. There it is. <laughs> so, the bead trio. So, one lucky winner gets these. And one lucky winner gets those. But hey, not your last chance. If you watch today and you make a comment, I will be giving away another set of gnomes and another set of beads next Saturday. So make sure you comment on today's video. Now, here's the haul. Watch that. But at the end, stick around so you can find out who the lucky winner from last Saturday is. Oh, and I just sang that because where am I going, Effingham? That's right. Okay, well, not everybody calls it Sin City, but yes, I am going to Sin City. Going to Vegas for my honeymoon. We didn't want to go out of the country, so we decided to stay in the country and within driving distance of our home, although we're flying. Anyway, that's another story. Okay, so I have a shopping haul for you today before I leave. Actually, I'm filming this Friday night, so I can make sure that it uploaded because my internet on the weekends is so bad. So anyway, um, Effingham and I are in the kitchen here late tonight. Well, not... Yep. And you're right, we're sharing a good laugh and a Diet Coke. And we're going to bring you a haul. Okay, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome into my kitchen. It's kind of a mess tonight, but you guys don't care. Um, this is where we all gather and have a drink or two and, um, and chat. And do like shopping hauls and crafts and DIYs. All my besties out there, how are you guys tonight, today, whatever you're watching it. Mm. Good, after, good morning, good afternoon, good night, whichever, you know. Okay, so this is actually from three different stores. I know. Okay, because I was kind of on a hunt for something. And then, um, and um, I haven't been out in, I hadn't been out in like a week because I was sick. So I was still recuperating from pneumonia. Still coughing, but not near as bad. Um, so anyway, so yesterday I like just did like three little quick stops. I had to go down, I had to actually drive down to Tucson for, um, for Marcus for work. And I figured that I could drive. I was probably okay to drive, not go in and work in the office. Although I did for a couple hours today. So anyway, I drove down there and well, there's the Dollar Tree by the office down there turned into a Dollar Tree Plus. So yes, I had to stop. Who wouldn't have? You know you would have. So I stopped there. Then I had to come up here, back up here to take the stuff to the store. And then, um, and then I had to head home. So 
There's two, there's like, I can hit multiple Dollar Trees on the way home. So on the way home yesterday, I had to go to the uh, eye doctor because I had to get my glasses fixed because these new glasses broke. Now I have them back. So, um, what does that have to do with anything? Nothing. <laughs> this is like a vlog of my life. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to, I might do that someday. Who knows? Okay. So anyway, so I ended up stopping at these two because I didn't find what I wanted at the one and okay, enough. Should we get into this? Before we get into this, like, oh my gosh, I'm almost sorry I didn't have a video yesterday so I could have April Fool's to you all. I didn't, though, so I couldn't, even though today technically is April Fool's. I know, I've already fooled you, Effingham, I did. I got up this morning, it was eight, I know. He cr I know you cried, I know, but you. I didn't realize you didn't know what April 1st was. So anyway, I got up, told Effingham I found him a new home this morning, we were adopting him out. I know, you're laughing about it now. But you didn't know what April Fool's was. I know, I know. And then I was like, April Fool's. And I was like, what? What, is, what does that mean? I'm like, anyway. So I had explained it to him. So now April, now he's got it. So um, Evingham, our friend, our little friend that we're supposed to name, you know, the, the, the Rita, it can't be Rita T. Cal. Um, somebody said, I kind of like this. Well, someone said effing beef, but then somebody said not, not, Nottingham, not to ham, Nottingham, you're effing ham. This would be Nottingham. Do you like it? I like Nottingham. So I think this is going to be Nottingham. You'll be effing ham. Anyway, but Nottingham will have to have a craft day because we're going to have to upscale Nottingham. So we're going to have like a cow craft day, I feel it, at some point. Okay, let's dive in. Shall we dive into this spectacular haul? I got to remember where I got everything. So... Um, let's see. This was one store. I'm not going to go into that one yet. This was another store. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to find the stuff that I got at the Dollar Tree Plus to show you first. Because that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, I did grab another one of these. And so these are $3. So I'm going to do three. Yeah. Yes, three. So I'm going to do the um, five for five thing this next on Tuesday, it's a challenge. And so I had an idea with this. Now I'm not gonna do that. Do you guys wanna hear my plight about the five for five? So I wanna do the five for five. And I'd seen their thing, I guess last time they did it, it was spring or something. Well, anyway, I thought that that was this one's. So I made these really cool five spring things for under five, only to find out that it's Easter. I was like, dang. So I'm holding on to my spring things. I'll do them next month, maybe. And instead, I'm going to do five Easter things really quickly. So anyway, but part of the five for five, that spring one, I was going to maybe use this for. I didn't end up using it, obviously. So no, so I bought another one. I have two of those now, but I like those. Okay, I, I don't know. What did I get at this Dollar Tree Plus? Apparently not a lot. I don't know. I don't remember. I guess it doesn't matter. We're just going to dive in. doesn't matter which store I got it at. Okay, so this is... Also, so funny, when I do my five for spring thing, um, my spring thing, I ended up using like the bike and spring sort of theme for my five for under five. So this will be a nice little addition to that, although not one of the crafts. But I actually thought that this was a very pretty sign. And yeah, like super pretty um, for $1.25. And this is part of their spring flame um, collection. And then... Um, Let's see. I don't, I don't, I have no idea where this stuff came from. I don't know. Oh, I found this one. So it's messed up. But every one of these they had were messed up. I saw this on an Instagram post or something like that. I thought somebody had made this. And then when I walked into the Dollar Tree and I saw it, I was like, oh, they didn't make it. That's a Dollar Tree sign. This is a really good Dollar Tree sign. So actually part of my five for five, I might actually use this on that because my five for five, I'm trying to do black and white. So I feel like I could really pull the black out of this and make it black and white. I thought about like, I could even pull the bunny off and paint him black. So, and then maybe figure out what the heck they did here. Cause I think it was just something got stuck to the glue that the bunny's down with. Okay, well enough about that, right? You guys don't care. And then, um, yeah, uh, where was this before? There's like all this new Easter stuff out, you guys. I don't need any more Easter. I don't. 
but I had to. This is so cute all by itself. You know, I'm probably going to take these little things and change them. I'll probably change their little, um, their little, whatever they're called, tails. Um, just because they seem sort of small to me and they're not very colorful. And you know how I love color. So, but I was also thinking I could take cotton balls like this or pom-poms like this and stick them in food dye and dye them, you know. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, $1.25. I think this one is super cute, by the way. Like, very cute. Very, very, very cute. I love that one. So, I did, yeah. Going to Vegas. <laughs> I might be in Vegas when you guys are watching this. Viva Las Vegas. Okay, and then these are beautiful signs. Um, I got two of the same, so I'm going to explain to you guys why. Well, I don't know if it's going to work. Anyway, my idea is I actually want to use them and put them together so it's a three-dimensional. And then, so if I had another blue, then I would get the blue on the truck. And then I would take this off and... Anyway, I'm not sure how I would do it, but I was thinking I kind of wanted to do a three. I love this one. They had other ones. They had like a pink one. Um, what was the other colors? I don't know. Anyway, this is the one that I really, really liked. So that's the one I grabbed. And I grabbed two of them because I'm going to try and do a three-dimensional thing. Um, foodie Friday food. Tapatia hot fries. So those are for Foodie Friday. I'm going to stick them in that stash. Um, I... Threw three of these in because I thought I was going to use it for my my five for under five thing. That's all I need. To, there's no more to that than that. That's it. And I'm not going to, but it's just, they're just going to go in my wood stash. Okay. This is so disgusting. This is Poodoo. It's a splat ball. And I bought it for the two youngest boys. Oh, my gosh. Toss at a countertop or other smooth, slick surface and watch it flatten out and then reform. It's smooshy. I'm squishably soft. Ew, that's so gross. Does it have like a face on it? It does. It has like a face on it. Oh, anyway, it's a boy thing. You know they're going to love it. And then they had more um, pop, snap pop things. So these are probably going in the Easter baskets. I know. Who was it? Lynn? No. Cracker Jack. He goes, ah, you said you're done buying for Easter. You won't be done. It's still weeks away. Now I have to be because the packages are getting mailed off. But... You don't see these all the time. They're just not there all the time. So when I see them, I do try and grab them because I'll throw these in my gift stash to give to little kids, you know, when I get invited to a birthday party or something like that. And then there was these little ones, which the Octo Bubbles. I think I got two of these. I did get two um, for the youngest grandsons. They just, I thought these were super cute. There might be a third one. I might've gotten Scarlet one too. Anyway, so more, you know, tchotchke stuff to send off to the kids. Oh, I did. I got Scarlet one. I thought I did. Um, I just think those are really cute. They're, you know, they're sensory. They're really fun. It, they should be good. Uh, I needed some more brushes, so I grabbed those. I ruined brushes, but I figure, if I can get, I can get six for $1.25, I don't care if I ruin them, then I throw them away, because I use them on Mod Podge, and then you know, I never get them, I don't know, I never get them soaked right or enough or something. I, I don't know. It is what it is. Oh, so another little sensory toy. These are Stretchy Pals. So cute. I love the color on this one, too. It's like this periwinkle. Um, so that's going in the bag of stuff to send to kids. This is, I got this for a little girl, not my granddaughter, but it's so cute. And this is another like sensory get fidget thing. So it's bracelets with zipper pulls on them. So you can, you know, have it on. I should, I should wear this. I am the worst. I'm always fidgeting. But I thought that was super cute to give to a little girl. They have some cute little, little things, little toy stuff. Um, yeah, mine is like disastrous, the one I have currently. But I told you I really like to use nail files. But still, I'll always have one of these for the bigger projects. And I have to throw my other one away because it's really bad. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, this is so cute. Tear tray, for sure. If you want to do like a spring food tear tray, this is so cute. It's a squishy toy. And I literally bought it just to show you guys. Like, this is so cute for a tear tray. And I would even take like a ribbon, like a gingham ribbon or something, and put it around here, just decorate it up a little bit more. Maybe put a little red bead on top like a cherry or something but so cute and it's a squishy toy it's gonna go to scarlet because i'm probably not gonna do a 
food tear tray, and Scarlet like squishies. So there's that. Here's another poop thing. There's the whole face. What is that? Poop. It's a poop ball. <laughs> I mean, but little boys are gross. We know this, right? We do know this. Okay, so you guys, I literally, I just did it. Um, I bought all the tails that I used on bunnies this year, like I bought during the year. And so I went in there this time and they had some tails and so I just grabbed them. But I had not purchased the solid green one before and I was like, I need that one. Um, and so I just got some more colorful ones. This one's like really rainbow. It looks like a Skittle butt. And these ones are just like a little bit softer. Um, but these are the pom-pom clips and I use them for bunny tails. They're absolutely the best and they're so cute on the bunnies not to use just a plain white tail. I don't think I've seen anybody else do that. Have you guys seen anybody else do that? So far, I think I'm the only person. I've only seen me do it, but maybe there's other people out there. I just haven't seen them. It happens. Um, so, tissue paper. And I've used a lot of this tissue paper on my project. I did, like, give done some stuff. But this one also has the fake bark in there, which I'll get into some of the stuff on the bark because I bought something that goes along with that. I thought I was going to use this on my spring plate. No, I bent it. Um, yeah, but I'm not. So I'll probably just use it as a thing to put my hot glue gun on, which is always a disastrous mess. Like, always it's a disastrous mess. Uh, these are flexible mailers, which I bought because I'm always mailing stuff off to you guys. So I was like, all right, let's grab those. I hadn't seen that before. So it's three piece in there, by the way. And I was like, that's pretty decent. So snagged that. What else is in here? This, do you, do you wanna know why? <sighs> Cause I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that's such a good piece of bamboo. And on the thing that I made the, uh, anyway, I was like, I could totally cut this and make candles on something. So that was sort of the idea. So now it's just gonna actually go into my wood stash of crafting because that's what I'm thinking I would do. Because look at that, see, you just take that off. And I could cut this off. Actually, you could do all kinds of things with this. It'd be a cute hanger. Hmm, would be actually. Okay, well anyway, I don't know. That's what I got it for. Ah, and I finally found this pieces of sandpaper. So I like these as well, because you can get into smaller areas. So that's just in my craft toolbox that goes there. Um, this was, this is a Crayola. This is super cute, you guys. So it's a Crayola color craft. And it was normally, I think I, I looked when I was in the store. I can't remember now though. $7.99. $7.99. And I got it for $1.25. It's the only one I saw. So I snagged it. Um, and this is like, you get the four markers. You get a wood butterfly to color. And then there's all this, um, there's a, Look, there's like, you can make a paper butterfly. There's coloring, there's make a pinwheel. I mean, it's so cute, it's complete the drawing. This is really, really, really cute. So anyway, oh, you can make a crown for yourself. You can make a paper piece of cake. Super cute little thing to give a little girl for $1.25 and it was normally $7.99. Mm. That's a no brainer, but it was the only one I saw. Then I got this, this is not, this is just normal because this is, they have these in there I think a lot, but it's so cute. Um, I, I could make this cute little gift basket just on this. So it's, there's animal faces in there. Look, like the duck. And then you get all these stickers so you can make it be whatever you want. I feel like this would be a really fun drunk game. <laughs> you guys, let's put animal faces on. Yeah, like, okay. Anyway, you get the idea. Like there's just all these fun things and you can just, it's a sticker. It's like a sticker album, obviously. And then you get to play with it. So Silly Pets sticker face. It's super cute for $1.25. I think it's super cute. Um, okay, so I found a book. This is, so it had a sticker on it that it was five. Um, but that was on sale wherever it was on sale at because initially it was, I wonder how much it was initially if I can even see that. It's on the inside. Maybe not, maybe it was just $5. Anyway, this is such a great book. This is about Benjamin Franklin. I can't find the price. 
So it's up to you. I think it's called, it's up to you. I'm trying to get this off so I can read it. It's up to you, Ben Franklin. How I made the biggest decisions of my life. All the facts, feuds, my historic first, my famous quotes, and more. Such a great book to get someone to give it to you. Um, one of the grandkids. Um, fun fact. Like, look, there's all these things in here. So, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's find some fun fact about Benjamin Franklin. Fun fact. This mission is sort of... No, that's not a good fun fact because you have to have read the other stuff. Okay, so I can't find any. So, anyway, it's cool. It's a book about Ben Franklin. What a great thing to give... There's another one that's called It's Up to You, Abe Lincoln. So um, I'm always looking at their books. You guys know this. But for $1.25, the books that you can find. I know I got another book in here at another store. But I'll find that when I find it. Um, pearls, because I did all that shabby chic stuff. And so I used so many of my smaller pearls. So I snagged these so that I could restock my pearl supply. <gasps> and they have new. Oh, my gosh. This is so pretty. Are these all the colors or was there one more? I don't, I think, yeah, there's one more. These are so pretty. They're like natural, they're cotton twine, right? But check out the colors. They're like the natural colors. So there's like a, well, let's do it this way. There's like a white and a gray and an off-white and a tan. Aren't those, they're just so natural. This screams farmhouse, absolutely so natural they can make a really cool boho piece using these natural colors so yeah i really 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 like those um okay so i found glass markers again you guys are always asking me like where are you gonna get the glass markers and you're sick so i found them again so i bought another set because i use these all the time um and they're amazing so this is the whole array of the colors that i got i marker with them all the time these are green briar so they are there just not all the time. So they're great for glass, ceramic, porcelain. And the tip of it is like a brush. It's got like a brush tip on it. They're so cool. Um, but, you know, it never says like afterwards. Like, anyway, I don't think you can. I've never tried to wash. I've said this before. I've never tried to wash. So I should one of these times. So I should just do a glass and then see what happens and wash it. But I'm sure you have to like hand wash them. I don't know. Okay. Oh, this was the Dollar Tree Plus because I just found something that I got at the Dollar Tree Plus. That was a Dollar Tree Plus item. Oh, actually, though, here's one more. There's the white pen. I love those glass markers. They're like, I love markers. You guys know I love to, like, paint with markers. So I get them a lot. Okay, let's see. This was, um, I found some of the these, which I hadn't found one. I think there's a pink one, too. And I found these at one store, and then I found them at another store, but I couldn't remember what colors I bought, so I think I'm missing the pink. But this was at the Dollar Tree. This was at the Plus. So it was $3. This is um, 36 feet. Look at that cute, cute, cute pattern. It's so adorable. So this is wired, is it? Yes, it's a jumbo roll wired ribbon. I think this is a good buy for $3, just FYI. Now, I wouldn't buy all ribbons that were $3. I'd have to really love the pattern, all right? So I just absolutely stink and adore this pattern. I think it's so cute. Um, I grabbed some more super glue wood glue because I seem to be doing a lot of wood lately. And this was their random, and it was the only color they had. And this is Martha Stewart paint. Satin, it's like a really pretty purple. Why is it there? I don't and what's the color? Aubergine, I think is the, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it's a super pretty color, but why was there just that color for Martha Stewart's paints? Somebody explain, please explain. Um, some, some new dental stuff, and these just really um, hit me. So, okay, first of all, these are the charcoal infused uh, floss picks, so snag those. But these are, they're the Eco Gang. Who are the Eco Gang? Are they really a gang? What do you have to do to join it? I suppose you have to be, love Mother Earth to be part of the Eco Gang. Do you have to make a sacrifice to Mother Earth? <laughs> do you have to 
kill a landfill item. I don't know. Anyway, so these are not Greenbrier. These, I'm sure, are more than $1.25 at the regular grocery store because they're very um, high-end looking. So this is a charcoal one and then a mint flavor. So this one is mint flavor and this one is charcoal infused. Not charcoal flavored. Mint flavored, charcoal infused. Flavored infused because to make something be flavored don't you infuse it with the flavor ponder that a minute yeah flavored infused okay but anyway um somebody look it up sharon look it up tell us how much these really are i know they're not a dollar 25 so eco gang is looks like looks like something off of um shark tank no oh, like eco you know they're gonna save mother earth okay We're, i'm happy for them so then Ah, on the beauty, healthy beauty aisle. Well, number one, I had to get one of these because it's a bigger one. So this is for my craft toolbox, all right? Because this is like a little mini sander. So that's over in the craft toolbox. Then I found these. So this is speaking of eco, eco tools, which are super expensive, super high end. Um, $1.25. So I don't think like this is a super good buy. I just wanted to show you guys this. I'll throw this in my purse. But these are earth friendly, um, you know, of course they're. And they're made with natural, sustainable materials. But there's two little mini. It's not worth a dollar twenty-five. I'm just showing you guys they're there, okay? And then, but this is so cute. I actually think this is very cute. This is Greenbrier, so it's gonna be there. But this is um bride and nail files, like Team Bride. Like if you were gonna make gift baskets for your, for a bride, or you know, for your bridesmaids or something. So cute. I actually think it's really pretty. Um, and I just got show, just to show. I'll literally just throw that in my crafting supplies because they're nail files. But I wanted to show them to you because they're just, they're so cool. It's like, they say bride on them and team bride. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that was fun. I did though. Okay, where to next? Um, oh, I snagged a couple things of nautical rope because I need it. So we don't need to see that. Um... Oh, yeah. So I found Wool Wash, which is by LA Totally Awesome. I love LA Totally Awesome. This is such a good buy. Had not seen the wool wash there before. So snagged that because I do a lot of cold water washing. So I only got one because I wanted to try it first. I'm sure it's going to be fine, but I don't know. Something in me said, like, I should try that first. And, um, yeah, it's some things I got to separate here till I find all the rest of them. You know how that goes. No, don't fall. So let's go into this bag here. Um, I had called already the three um, garden signs. And then in the middle of the night while my head is crafting while I'm sleeping, and then I wake up and think of these things, I thought about this. And I was like, I'm going to put four of them together because they jigsaw, sailed jigsaw puzzle piece together and make a planting box out of the four of them. Won't that be cute? So I had to snag one more. So the other two, of the, there's three of them, and the other two are more colorful. So I got two of the one that had the white and the brown, because I figured those, anyway, I don't know. I just thought that would be a better balance. Okay, I'm getting winded. I'm like, need to breathe. A new item, or new to me, not sure. But I was totally intrigued. And at first, they had these in gold as well. And at first, I picked up the whole set in gold. And then I looked at the black and I said, what am I doing? Um, and I really wish I had a wall that I needed to decorate because I would do this on this wall. I do not. But it's a great tip for any of you that do. So these are their mirror rounds. Look at that. See that mess here? This is what I'm dealing with. Um, but you guys... They're, this one's got glue on it. From I love it when they, they get glue on other things because the way they stack them in boxes. But I just want to show you, there's all these designs, okay? So this would be a phenomenal, and I'm saying phenomenal boho piece. Just to take the, and maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just make a boho piece for you guys out of these. Because you would just take them and like build this piece, you know? I can need one more. It's there. Um, okay, so let me just show you the designs. There's a total of six, I think. So there's this one, which is sort of starbursty. This one, which is, I don't know what it is. 
this one looks, they look like flowers almost, don't they? I feel like I could totally put these on a wall and paint black stems and leaves on and it would look so cool. I just don't have any more walls. This one totally looks like a flower. Um, this one looks more like a sun. No, it still looks like a flower. And this one looks like a flower. So they had them in gold. And the reason I ended up going for the black was because the gold was, it wasn't shiny gold. Like it was almost a muted gold, but then it looked like plastic. And at first I saw the gold and I picked up the gold because I was thinking Christmas. Um, and then I saw the black and I was like, nah, I'm going to get the black because I can just make a really, and I probably will make a very cool boho piece out of all of these. So I think those are new. I don't think I've seen them before or they're a bring back. Maybe they were out before and, and they haven't been out in a while. I'm, I don't know. Okay. Um, this bag, I always buy these picks when I see them. I saw one randomly all by itself. So I snagged it because I love these. I think they are the best greenery that they do there. So I buy them whenever I see them. Um, I found another book. This is called With a Friend by Your Side. It's a National Geographic book. It was $17.99. This is a great book for a little kid. It said, there in the crowd is a friend. Young, old, short, tall, feisty, funny, or even furry. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. So step right up, say hello, jump in, catch ball, toss it back, catch up. Anyway, so then it's like this, it's just this really beautiful book of um of friends there in the crowd is someone who likes the things you like it's like this great book for a child so i it was 17.99 like ah oh. anyway i had to throw that in that's for sure a couple of um a couple of their garden hanger things i hate these you guys know I hate these, right? I only buy them for the wood pieces. So I actually kind of like this. I love the bee um, and I kind of like the butterfly. So they had an, they, they had three of them. I picked up two. The other, and the reason I picked this one up is because of that right there. I love that. And I like the flowers on this one. So I grabbed these two just for that. They had another one that had like a teapot. And I was like, at first I picked it up just to show you guys. I was like, no, I don't even want it. Put it back, Amy. So I put it back. I did put it back. Um, more nail stuff because, you know, I'm addicted. I thought these were pretty. They're like a nude color. Now we've said nude on my video. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, people. I know. <laughs> You're always nude, Effingham. Oh, except for your hat. Yeah, I know. We're gonna change your hat next week. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the other hat on that was sent to you by Sabrina. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, another book. Another book, you guys. This one's called, this is for my grandson. This is called Max Tilt, 80 Days or Die. This book was $17.99. This is a, look at the reading in here. Okay, so it's a good, this is gonna be perfect for Moe's. Moe's is my little Momo's. I keep sending him hardback books and I say, I'm just gonna keep sending you hardback books um, and I want you to have a collection of hardbacks when you grow up. Like just to keep encouraging that reading because he's a really, really good reader. Um, anyway, and I just thought this was really, a, it's a nice looking book, $1.25. I can't even get that at a thrift store for that price. I mean, that's just insane. Okay, um, Tahine, because I need this, because I thought I had some and I went to look for it and I couldn't find it. I'm like, okay, well, obviously I need that. Um, next bag. Oh, I found another um, another plantain chips thing, Munch Kings. So it's like I grabbed that for Foodie Friday. I've never seen those before. Oh, I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying. These are so cute, but I'm going to wait and show them to you in just a minute. <laughs> They're so cute, though. They're really cute. Okay. Um, yeah. Evian water. Evian. Why is there Evian there? This is cucumber and mint, um, sparkling water, mineral enhanced drink. There's no calories. It's got magnesium and zinc in it. Oh, it has zinc in it. That's good. Um, anyway, I was like, why are those there? So I'm going to give them a try. Cucumber and mint doesn't sound 
vodka. Maybe. <laughs> but it doesn't sound like it's just don't <laughs> You do? Really? Do heifers like mint? You like you like mint? I would never would have guessed that. Yeah, I know I wouldn't have guessed that. I mean, yeah. it would grow wild in the fields where you lay. So okay, yeah, effing amp. Sometimes I'm pretty sure you're delusional. Yeah, you are for sure. Um, let's see. Oh, I got some more of the monster mango drinks. I told you guys these were so good. So I just snagged just a few more of those. They're really good. Like, really good. Um, I found some more of this, which is also really good. Like, really good. If you see that stuff, buy that stuff. It's so good. It's avocado hot sauce. It's just amazing. And then I hope I got the right ones. I'm not sure that I did. Oh, nah, dang it. So I went to one store. I found these two. And I was like, wow. I mean, that looks pretty good. And this is old product. I don't know. I haven't seen this there before. So then I go to the other store and they had these two and then a brown mustard. But I couldn't remember which one I had. Well, so I have two Dijons. But they also have a brown mustard. And I did not get that. Um, I like mustard. It has to be one of my favorites. Then they had the apple cider leaping lizard. No, leaping something. And I'm like, did I buy this? Because I don't think I found the... I think I found the white vinegar. I'm not sure I found... The apple cider vinegar, which I, I love to make um, salad dressings with or just drink out of the bottle because, you know, it's supposed to help you lose weight and all that stuff. And, like, have you ever seen all that stuff on apple cider vinegar? Yeah, I'm not just drinking it out of the bottle, but some people do. If that's your thing, you can go get Leaping Lizards, Leopard. I say that every time. Leaping Leopard um, stuff there. Oh, and then, um, so this was the other one. This is Deli Market. They had the yellow mustard. So they had the yellow, the Dijon, the spicy, and the brown. I'm like, uh, no. Yellow, honey, Dijon, and brown. Or spicy mustard, spicy brown mustard, and regular mustard. Okay, so, well, there's that. We need those. Okay, we're, we're two, we're two, we're two. We got more milk, because I keep this on my shelves as a backup. Um, so it was time to get another one. I rotate it, so I don't leave it there too long. Like I'll, like, I'll pull it out and put it in the fridge, and we'll use it, and then I'll put some more on there. Okay, I found t-shirts my size. For $1.25. I was like, yeah. So I'm just going to show you the colors. They're all extra large. These are all, are these Gildan? Who are these? These are Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom. There's a nice pink one. Here's a nice army green. Here's a nice blue. And is that it? Yeah. For $1.25. I got like three shirts. For $1.25 each. Come on. That's a killer buy. Uh, let's see. Oh, I had to. I'm going to throw them in Foodie Friday. This is Sparkly Wild Berry. Now, it's much, it's half the size of the other packages, but I did that whole Peeps thing. But this one looks so pretty. So I'm like, okay. I'll try it. I don't like it, but I'll try it. Oh, I found another pair of Mossy Oak. So I'm going to send these off to one of the grandkids in their Christmas basket. I mean, Easter basket. Um, this is something I've never seen before. Thicker, fuller hair. I have very thin hair. I tell you guys this all the time. So this is distributed by High Ridge Brands, made in the USA. Um, so it's not Dollar Tree. Sharon, look this up. Um, thicker, fuller hair. It's Celluplex Pure Plant Extracts with Caffeine Energizer, and it's thickening serum so like well I'll try it it can't hurt right unless it makes all my hair fall out <laughs> I hope that doesn't do that all right okay we're getting down to the bottom of it here um some new greenery um okay first of all this one is I just I love that vibrant yellow in that so that's the reason I picked that one up and then I grabbed one each of these. Now, I, this is very spring looking. They don't look super good, but sometimes I will buy just based on size. Okay, so there's two things about these picks. So the flowers are small and they're kind of like them, but these have just this, the white on them and they're airy. So it means I can cut them apart and use them when I'm decorating other pieces. So I just grabbed one each. So they have like, um, 
And they have like uh, a purple and then an ombre purple, an ombre yellow, a blue, a pink and like, or a cranberry and like an ombre cranberry. So I got one each of those. I don't think there was any other colors because they seem to be pretty well stocked of those. So I just snagged those while I could. Um, let's see. Oh, this is one of the things I'm looking for. I bought some emergency because we're leaving and I think Marcus and I both need to take an emergency while we're gone every day. Um, because he seems to have like some allergies. So I just grabbed these. It's not necessarily a great buy. It was just convenience for me because we're leaving. So I can throw these in the suitcase um, so that we can take one every day that we're gone. I'm gonna put that back there so I remember. Okay, let's see, what else? Found some new health uh, beauty product. And this is, where's the other one? These are, so I know there's more. This is just what I found. These are called Pick Up and Go. And Pick Up and Go is um, it's distributed by Yes Sales. Now, isn't that Target? I don't know, you guys. Okay, so this is not a super great buy. There's 25 wipes in here. But check out this packaging. Is this not adorable? So this one is orange moisturizing, and this one's mango nourishing. I know there's more. Then I found one mask that was orange moisturizing fruity facial mask. But I'm seeing like... Mother's Day gift basket. Like, this is so cute and colorful and just beautiful packaging. Like, beautiful packaging. Now, or for a teenager, these really scream like young woman, too. So, I just, those other wipes that I got, the Tadas or whatever they were, there was 80 in there, which was a much better buy, and they're super good. But it's not always about that. Sometimes it's just like if you're trying to put a gift together or something. And just to see these high-end looking things. And this one's definitely very high-end looking. Um, I loved the packaging and I so want to smell them, but I don't think I'm going to keep them. I'm not keeping them. I'm going to give them away. So um, anyway, I can't smell for you. I'm sorry. So a few new garden signs, like <laughs> Garden of Whedon. <laughs> Meet me at the garden gate. That's very cute. And bless my garden, but Garden of Whedon. But again, you guys, you, I know you love the colors, right? Don't you just love the colors on these? So they, the colors that they've gone to for their gardening stuff is just phenomenal. I mean, it's so pretty. I love these colors. Okay, so there's a few more garden signs because all the garden stuff's coming out right now. Oh, yeah, and then there was these. Where the heck have these been? Because I hadn't seen them before. But here they are. Bunny bait, fresh carrots, treats for my peeps. And cotton tails, candy cafe jelly beans. Like, where were these? I feel like these just like appeared. They were not around before, and now they are. So I should totally do this one as part of my five under five because this one's super cute. I might. We'll see. Because I want to do like the black and white. Okay. Um. Just. I don't know why I felt like I hadn't seen this one before. Yeah. Crafting supplies. Don't need them. Um, okay, then this there were these, which I was like, hmm, these are pistachios. This one is um, roasted and salted, and this one is sea salt and vinegar. So these are going in Foodie Friday. There's 130 calories per pack. Also, I love the coloring and packaging on these as well. I feel like I haven't seen them before. Maybe I have. I don't know. Um... Okay, Rita, this is for you. <laughs> boop, boop. No, wait, wait, wait. It's like, how do they do that? <laughs> they go. I've been watching Bridgerton. Anybody watching Bridgerton on Netflix while I was sick? Excuse me, darling. Hmm. Anyway, this it's so, okay. They had one that was like a lime. No. They had one that was like a um, kiwi and then one that was like citrus, like an orange or something. So the only one I th thought worth picking up was this one because I thought like I could definitely take the watermelon off of here and use it and make some watermelon piece. But anyway, Rita, literally, I'm probably just going to send it to you because I'm probably not going to do watermelon this year. And I know you love watermelons, so I think I'll just send this off to you. Yes? Would you like this, Rita, dear? Rita? Rita, would you? Oh, Effingham. 
Effingham, may I call you? Effingham. Nottingham, how about you? Nottingham, would you like a little cool air on you? Mm, okay, anyway. There you go. It's a watermelon fan. Who doesn't need one of those? Rita needs one. Um, just because I saw them, and I did not see the small ones this year. I told you, Easter was out everywhere for some reason. And so I was like, all right, all right, people. I'm going to just grab one package, throw in my Easter box for next year. Only I only got one. And then I've seen this there before, but I decided to try it. So this is skin softening cocoa butter, and it's the... Um, it's the uh, petroleum jelly. Have you guys ever tried that after a shower? It's amazing. So as we're getting into, a summer's gonna come in and I'm gonna end up with really dry skin from pool and whatnot. Like this is, it, it smells kind of like coconut. Anyway, and then right after a shower, I love to just douse myself while I'm still wet in coconut oil or some, so this would work really well for that because then the water, like, I don't know, does anybody else do that? Probably not, it's probably just me. And, oh, some new patches. These are brand new, right? Just craft supplies. So, I don't know. I'm sure there's other ones. There's, that's what I found. Okay. And then, um, what is this stuff? Okay, so funny is that um, Eminem actually sent me some of this. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you what she sent me for um, for craft supplies for me um, at the end of this video. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I have to do my winner today too. I'll have to insert somewhere. At the end, I will draw the winner for the gnome and the thing. All right, but look at this. It looks like birch bark. Isn't that stuff amazing, you guys? There's 18 feet on there. So it's like a paper. So I feel like you could totally just Mod Podge onto something and make, actually, or something okay anyway it's amazing so she sent me some but then I found some so I grabbed two more because this is gonna be like a staple definitely um just take a dowel and wrap it around that you'd have a birch stick take a you know how everybody does the faux or the the the, the um, pool noodles and they do like faux um pieces of wood and stuff so you could wrap this around or the dowel the dowel that's um the plunger you could wrap that around it you'd have a birch stick for christmas because they're all gonna so that's where i'm seeing this is like at christmas in my christmas stash stuff i don't know anyway it's really 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 cool don't even know for sure what i'm gonna use it for right now but there's that um this just because i had to see it's a heated eyelash curler comb what does that mean So there's that. Okay, so I have like just a couple things left here. One of them is this, which I think this is so adorable. This is a three pack of these things. I want to paint them like black or just black or just put black on this part so we can see the raised parts and make topiaries. So can't you totally see topiaries in these? Um, I can make topiaries using those new, the new um, things that I bought. Uh, it just, I don't know. They were so cute and small, so I had to. Oh, I'm going to use them for it. This, it's a brand new vase. Um, I can't stand the color, I'm going to be honest. But what I can stand is painting this and then like white or, or um, painting it like black and then sort of dry brushing it with white. And I feel like I could make this look like concrete pretty easily. So that's going to be the goal with this one. Then there was this one, which I just love this one all by itself. I think this is a beautiful vase. It's brand new. Isn't that pretty? Ah, oh, I love that. And then um, this one, which $1.25, you guys, this is such a good buy. So this is like screaming for a, for a solar light in it. And bam, you know, you got a good little thing there. And... I'm your genie in a bottle. Na 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 na. <laughs> bum bum. Ba -da 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 -da. Bump. Isn't remember? I dream of genie. So it totally looks like a genie bottle, doesn't it? Don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. But it's like, well, I have to have it. <laughs> Don't know why. You know, you actually could use this like as a riser. Oh, it's kind of pretty like that, isn't it? 
just like a statement piece, put something on top of it. I don't know. So that's the glassware. All right, then there, these are brand new. I'm, just, I can't wait to try this one. I think that's gonna be fun. These are brand new and I'm like, wow, I like these. So they are new little sayings that they have on their, you know, their little boards. So this one is rest your mind, calm your heart, free your soul. It looks like the ocean, doesn't it? It's not pretty. This one is dream bigger, dream bigger to bigger. I don't know, dream bigger to bigger. Dream bigger to bigger. Anybody? Effingham? Does this make any sense to you, Effingham? Dream bigger to bigger. No, it literally says dream bigger to bigger. Dream bigger to bigger. To bigger to bigger. To bigger 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 to I'm like dying. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like what? So, I mean, okay, maybe. But Dollar Tree is really, really stepping it up these days. Like, I think they listen to me because I'm always saying vodka. <laughs> because now you can get your, your beverage mixers there. Well, I suppose this one's tequila, right? So this is Margarita Refresh Me Drink Mixers. Does it give you directions? Wait, let's just go through this. Okay, let's just go through this. So this is Refresh Me. This is Best Buy 1122. Refresh Me was created so you could quench your guilty pleasure without the guilt. Add to any of your favorite spirits and always use to add a zing of great taste to water, sparkling water, or any other beverage you enjoy. All of our items have no sugar and are zero calories. Refresh Me, please. So... It doesn't say, I mean, I'm going to put them in the fridge because we're going to actually try them on a foodie Friday. And then this one is mojito. Mojito. Refresh me mojito. So who makes this? It doesn't say. I mean, that's really weird. Like it doesn't, literally does not say. I mean, I guess refresh me is the, I don't know. There's no made by anywhere on here. I don't know. And this one is strawberry margarita. So we're gonna like get them cold and then just like try them without alcohol and let you know on a foodie Friday. I mean, on a, a beanie's robes. God, I keep saying that. But wait, wait, what? Now we got alcohol mixers at Dollar Tree. Way to go, Dollar Tree. Way to go. Although they always have my mixer, which is Diet Coke. Okay, that's it. All right, that's all. Now, don't go away because I'm gonna announce our winners right now and then I'm gonna haul for you what Bestie M&M sent me that was personal, that was crafting supplies. So hold on. Okay, so the winner today of the gnomes is a new subscriber, Regina Bradford. She said, just watched you for the first time and I am now a subscriber from here on out. You're so witty and fun. I can't imagine what you're like when you aren't sick. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much the same and um loved all your great finds as well and i'm looking forward to next week's videos hope you get to feeling better so, well thank you very much regina and you won the gnomes regina won the gnomes now let's do the drawing for the beads and the bead winner is jeanette 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 montez you won the beads okay so make sure that you winners have to Go on my Facebook and private message me your address and we'll get that stuff off to you. So congratulations. Yay. I'm so excited. A newbie one. That's fun. All right. So now let's get on to see what Eminem sent me like crafting supplies. Insane. Okay. So Eminem sent me some crafting stuff. So I'm just going to share it with you guys really quickly. Um, these are the uh, mason jars, which I think are really pretty. I'm going to have some fun. I want to redo some of these and do some fun stuff with those. Uh, some wood, the like crate almost um, sign things. So the I, there's not four, but 
I really want to make a planter out of these as well. I just think they make a really good planter. Um, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Um, one of the ombre bags, which I bought one, but I had sent it off to Scarlet, and then I was like, ooh, I wish I'd kept it for some stuff, so now I have one. Some uh, Valentine's ribbon, which I never saw. Check out these little numbers, love that. Let me throw this all down there. Uh, a couple of little, um, yeah, fairy, fairy garden, fairy garden stuff, yes. Look at this, this is so cute. She had to bend the stick to get it into the box, but look at how cute that is, this little tractor with the flowers on it. It's a garden stick. And then this one, which I never saw this one, I love this. It's so cute, the Valentine's truck. Um, some Valentine's garland, which this is what I used on my Shabby Chic stuff the other day, by the way. So love that stuff. Just throwing it all in my thing. Oh, and my, I have a VW, so I actually bought this as well, but this is so cute. I love these. I should send those off to the green kids. Oh, and some, um, I don't want it to fall. A box full of the assorted wood plaques. Like this is what I did. Um, wouldn't I use one of these for the bunny that I did the other day? It was like one of these. Yeah, so I love these. They make excellent risers to you guys. So not just for, you know, making signs or something. Um, these, which I love, these are so cool. They're the wall art, but they're sticky and they're mirrored and they're house shaped. So those are very, very cool. Um, a gnome. Oh, this is so cute. His light came out. That's okay. We can fix him. And I hadn't seen this one. But it says besties forever. Aw. Thanks, Eminem. I'm gonna have to paint him up. Uh, let's see. Some more roses. Some prayer cards, which I love the prayer cards. Um, they make really good. Why did it I my thing turned somehow, didn't it? Yep, I hit my thing. Oh well, sorry. So some prayer cards. These are great for inserting into cards and stuff all the time. I love to do that with those. Um, oh yeah. Some of the brown true polish because you know I love to stain with this stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Some ceramic gnomes. I'm gonna have to add some. They're all the same, but I'm gonna have to add one at least into my big giveaway because you know because I should. Um, some some more ribbons. This is just an array of ribbons. Some of them are. Um, I feel like this one's so Easter, and some of them are fall. There's the gnome ones. I'll probably throw some of the gnome into my big gnome giveaway. Um, some more gnomes. Yeah, I definitely should put those in the big gnome giveaway. I'm just throwing it all in a box. And then here's that um, that ribbon I was telling you guys about that I found, and then I bought some, so she sent me some. So it's like birch. But then there's this one, and this one looks like palm fronds. Isn't that cool? I just can see doing something tropical and making like um, a big palm frond kind of bow. And then some St. Patrick's Day ribbon, which is sweet because I actually didn't have any. So I'll now have some for next year. So the luck of the Irish. And then um, let me move the gnomes out of there. And then this, which I love this. It's the anchor wreath form. So I've never seen this, so I'm excited. I'm gonna nautical rope it, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so that was the fun crafting stuff that she sent me. I still have more to show you from her, so I will do it next week. She sent us some personal stuff, which some of it was beanies. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much, Eminem. I love you to death, thank you so much. All right, guys, everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! I'm in Vegas, baby! Vegas, baby! And I'm not getting remarried because we're already married. So, anyway. And it's our honeymoon. We're actually going with another couple because we're old and weird. Like, come on, let's all go to Vegas. So, because um, we decided we didn't want to go out of the country. And um, so, I'm having a grand old time. I hope you guys are as well. I love you all so much. I'll see you back here on Tuesday for my five for under five. So, remember, that's a challenge. It's not my normal... Totally easy Tuesday, although it's going to be easy. and um, But it's the 5 for 5 challenge, so please make sure that you watch that and, and all the playlists that go with that. Anyway, well, I'll be on to tell you about it on Tuesday. Okay, guys.
Thanks so much. Um, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Bye. Mm -hmm.